Hey guys, it's FIFA Rally here and welcome to another Road to the FIFA World Cup video and this time around we are covering the Croatian national side and they did book their ticket to Brazil by beating Iceland in the playoffs. So let's get into the squad. On goal we do have a Platicosa who is the goalkeeper for the national team. He got 109 caps and he is surprisingly good. Usually when I use silver keepers on Ultimate Team I'm always a little bit worried but I had no worries when I had played him for a few games because He's tall, six foot four. He got a goalkeeper punch trade and long throw trade and all one good stats. And he was just really, really good in the goal. The first center back is a Chaluka, and he's decent, but nothing more than that. He's not the fastest, and he doesn't really have the best defending and heading stats, but he's all right there. And alongside him, we do have Lovren, the informed version, and he got good defending and heading stats, but again, he's not the fastest. So playing those two there, you'll have really have to watch out for over the top balls and backtrack quite a bit if you want to not concede a goal basically because else the attackers are gonna run away from you so if you watch out they can do the job but it can sometimes be a little bit difficult on the right back we do have the captain for the national team and 110 games to his spell that is Sana and he is amazing on the game really good attacking right back uh, his second in form with 89 pa passing 86 defending good at pace shooting and dribbling and insane free kicks and ridiculously good crossing so a very good player there on the right back on the left back we have Pamic he's decent but nothing more than that now moving on to the center defensive mid uh, we went uh, with Sertic and he is a quite solid center defensive mid he got all on decent stats pace dribbling defending and passing in the 70s he got the long shot trade and uh, yeah he does the job quite well on the center defensive mid spot now moving on to the left mid we have a Perisic and he's one of those players if you played ultimate team He's one of those cheap, really good players to pick up on the left mid. He's one of the few four-star skillers in the squad. He got a five-star weak foot and all one good stats. And he scored a goal from a weird angle for me due to that five-star weak foot. He's, he's a really good player to use. Now, on the right mid, we got nobody because there is no right mid uh, uh, on ultimate team from Croatia. So we went with Thomas up a left mid with a left foot and three-star skills and 85 pace. So he's the fastest player in the squad and he can cut inside and take shots. Now moving on to the center attack mid, we got a Modric, one of the outstanding players in the national side. And he'll have to perform well during the World Cup if Croatia want to go through Group A. I see Brazil as the one team going through. And then it's all between Cameroon, Mexico and uh, Croatia. And the team hitting the form will go through, I think, between those three. It, it'll, it'll be a tough one to call, I think. But yeah, Modric, really good player. And on the top, we do have Mansukic. And he is big, strong and fast. And he wins everything in the box. It's stupid. And he's scored a lot of headers and, and weird bicycle kicks and stuff for me. So you'll see a little bit of that in the gameplay soon. And alongside him, we do have Eduardo, who got, I believe, around 60 games, 61 games, uh, played for Croatia and 29 goals, which is all right. And on the game, he is really good. 85 dribbling is really nice. He got finesse shot trade and a deathly left foot. And he does play quite well. And I remember back when he played for Arsenal, he was a good player until he got that injury, unfortunately. But still, a very good player on the game and really fun to try out. I think alongside with Modric and Perisic and Sana. They were my four favorite players off the squad. Now, moving on to Rakitic, the informed version. Got really good stats on him, but he was a big letdown. I never found the play with him. I felt Modric was way better, and maybe I should play have played him on a different position. I don't know. I just didn't get the full potential out of his stats. Now, next up, we got Olic as a substitute uh, for Eduardo and uh, Mansugic. And the same thing goes for Jelovic. And those two, they were all right. Three-star skills on them, but compared to Mansukic and uh, Eduardo, I didn't really want to play them that much because the two others were really good with Mansukic. Only could get having three-star skills. He was big and strong, won everything in the air. And then uh, Eduardo with the skills and the finesse shot. But moving on, Ko Kovacic. Which doesn't really suit the center defensive mid. I'd say he's way better suited for playing a center mid or maybe a center attacking mid role. And he is one of the young prospects who's, who's got a lot of talent and is probably one to watch uh, in the years to come. And uh, then we have uh, Ilicevic, uh, a substitute for Perisic and Tomasov. And uh, he got decent stats, but nothing more than that. Then we got Jedvash. Another player just uh, as uh, Kovacic, which is one of the players to watch out for in the future. He's quite young, just moved to uh, Roma in the summer and got some decent stats on him. He's substitute for um, Chaluka and Lovren. Uh, got decent pace and uh, uh, defending and heading stats on them. Then we have uh, Vashalchko. I, I probably butchered his name there. I do have I have no clue how to pronounce it, but... He's a substitute for Sana. He got decent pace on him, and that is pretty much about that. And the same thing applies for Leovach. 
again, decent pace, but that is pretty much that. Uh, I prefer to playing with Sana uh, on the right back and a Palmich on the left back. But moving on to the gameplay, here we have a, a quite nice build up play there, and then Sana with the cross. And as I said, his crossing is really, really good. And when you had Mansukic in the box, he would find him every single time. And here we have the five star weak foot from Perisic hitting a goal all the way into the far bottom corner, which I was quite surprised about. And a few skill, skills here from Perisic. The only downside kind of to the squad was there was very few skillers and there was no 5 star skillers so it was a little bit difficult getting any really really good goals. There's a few a uh, few basic skill moves in kind of the roulettes and that kind of stuff going on but still it was a quite enjoyable side to play with and I, I believe I hit a really good streak it was around 10 to 12 games where I just won everything with the side I was quite surprised about that because I had those slow center backs but once I kind of got into backtracking and covering up um, covering up the, the over the top balls, they actually worked out really well and for some reason the attack was just, it worked out really well even though maybe the players doesn't seem to be the best. Mansukic is really good if you cross it in, Eduardo is really good on the ball and might suit a center attack mid spot as well if you're looking to put him into a side, maybe you could link up with, a, with Santa in a 4-2-2-2 but yeah, the squad actually played surprisingly well, I think. And uh, yeah, here you see some of the strength from Mansukic getting into into the box and winning the header there. And look at this uh, sideways volley scissor kick from Mansukic from the corner and Santa delivering from the corner. It was ridiculous. He, he just jumped over both defenders and hit it in uh, into the back of the net. A really nice goal. And finally, we have a, a few game play clips with Eduardo and his left foot here chips it over the keeper after going past the defender and playing a 1-2 and here look at like the way he leans back and hits it into the top corner look quite nice I think and uh, yeah he of course had the four star skills as well so you can pull off a few skill moves with him and he got quite good dribbling so he stays close to the ball and it was, as I said, one of the, the better players in this squad. And uh, we are kind of coming to an end of this video. This is the final goal, hitting it into the bottom corner. And that is pretty much all. I hope you did enjoy the video. In the next uh, next episode of the Road to the World Cup, we'll be covering Mexico. And that is uh, pretty much all. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you later.